and it shows up in the sales office in Pickering at 6 a.m. And I can't. How do people have so much money? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Um, I know a lot of people who are struggling to pay rent, but there are a lot of other people who are lined up outside sales offices. Once again, it feels like 2023 all over again, but I think we all have to remember what happened last year. And I'm gonna show you the stats and let me show you one video I found. This is a video I found on Facebook and it shows up the sales office in Pickering at 6 a.m. And I can't confirm this, but uh, according to the source, he said, yeah, this is like exactly from like yesterday or today. So I, I don't get it. I just don't know how people have so much money for these large deposits. But anybody who's thinking of buying like right now, uh, especially pre-cons, uh, I would definitely consult a lawyer because you have to know that this is not just like easy money that, hey, I just need to use my assignment clause, get out of the deal and make a cool 200 grand easy peasy no problem uh it's not that easy there are a lot of new taxes involved and a lot of people right now are trying to sell their pre-cons that they bought in 2019 2020 2021 and a lot of them are stuck because they're not being able to uh, get appraisals or they're not qualifying for the mortgage because they had no intentions of closing the deal but they can't sell now because the prices have tanked so you have to be careful in the pre-con market like uh, you know you're trying to predict four or five years ahead and sometimes it can backfire sometimes it works but sometimes it backfires but uh, yeah getting back to what i'm talking about like it's like 2023 all over again because i'm going to show you the market has already picked up uh, compared to what was happening like this is january to january comparisons so what i want to show you is like if you look at city by city and yeah like every single um city brampton misaga vaughn ajax burlington if you look at by region every single one of them is up compared to last year and uh why is this happening well the number one reason it's happening is obviously because there's a sense in the market that the bank of canada is going to be dropping the rates and a lot of realtors are pushing this message that hey you gotta um, you know it's all about timing you gotta get in quick before the rates drop and then the prices skyrocket so you have to get in now before it's too late uh, maybe it happens maybe it doesn't but you have to kind of also think about worst case scenario like what if bank of canada does not drop the rates like uh, we all remember last year i'll show you what happened last year so this is what's been going on for detached homes only and this was the peak of the market february 2022 and look how much they dropped in uh, like a year and a half uh, i mean not, not a year and a half like less than one year uh, so from February 2022, when that was the peak of the market, where everybody thought the market's only going to go up, and then it came crashing down. And look how much uh, prices dropped by in each region, Halton, Peel, Toronto, York, and Durham. They dropped by more than 20%, and these are for average price for detached homes. And then um, when Bank of Canada said in January 2023, hey, we're going to be doing a conditional pause to see how things go. We increased it so many times, I think like seven, eight times. So we're going to pause and see what happens. And a lot of people said, well, this is it. That was the bottom of the market. And then everybody jumped in. And then we all remember this is like from um, October to May and every, every category, like all of them double digit gains once again. But Bank of Canada said, okay this is obviously not working as soon as we say something about a pause uh, everybody just jumps back in and housing is pushing inflation up and so inflation went back up and then bank of canada stepped in once again and then they raised the rates i think it was twice twice yeah last year and then the market came crashing down once again so uh the point is you have to be careful like you know i know everybody's saying there's no more rate increases but what if there is right or what if they just stay on pause what if they just stay at five percent so don't always fall for the sales pitch like hey you got to get in quick you got to get in quick but please do not be a panic buyer where you know like there's 85 offers on a house and you're like number 83 or something and you're going crazy high so you got to be careful have your budget in mind don't cross it you know and um yeah don't panic buy because there will be a lot of panic buying in the spring and don't be one of those people who got stuck right here or right there so you don't want to be that guy who you know overpaid five six hundred thousand dollars on a house and now it's worth a lot less than what you bought it for so like i said i'm not against people buying and selling but you got to be careful do your own research and don't fall for the hype and i'll see you next time thanks bye